Hello everyone and welcome to AI channel. Today I'm thrilled to share some exciting news about the Neoxa team and their latest achievement. Smart nodes have become a reality and they are now an essential part of this rapidly growing network. The Neoxa team has consistently delivered on their promises and just a month ago we witnessed these nodes on testnet. Thanks to their persistent dedication and tireless effort, these nodes are now live and ready for action. Best of all, you can set up your own very node and start earning a remarkable 45% of rewards within the network. For those of you who are new to the Neoxa network, I highly recommend checking out my previous video where I cover all the essential details. In a nutshell, Neox is a groundbreaking proof of work, cryptocurrency that blends the worlds of gaming and cryptocurrency. No longer you have to game for free. Instead, you can utilize the power of gameplay to earn rewards for in-game purchases and so much more. Today, I'm going to take you step by step and set up my second node. We'll go through the minimum requirements and together we'll learn how to set up your own very node. So let's get right into it. All right, if you like gaming and cryptocurrencies, this is definitely the project for you. The Neoxa Network pays gamers for just playing. And you can participate in this project not only by buying the Neox token, but also by setting up a smart node and getting 45% of the rewards of the network. The team has consistently delivered on the roadmap, so kudos to them. And thank you so much for the support they provided on Discord. I already set up my first node and so I already gained uh, rewards. Uh, the, 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 the team is great, seriously. Uh, after the latest uh, update, 45% of the of the rewards go to proof of work for miners, 45 to smart nodes, and 5% to gamers. I think this is a great opportunity to get in now early. Today, that's what I want to do. I want to show you step by step how to set up everything from from the minimum requirements, VPS, all the commands you need to run, and all the updates, the key uh, critical updates that, that are needed in order to run the, the smart node. And if you stick to the end, I will show you how much I'm getting paid per node. We'll see it uh, real time that. All right, let's start with the minimum requirements. First, you need to get 1 million Neox. And let's check on the price of this token. Uh, right now it's 0 0.001027 as of July uh, 28th. So it's been appreciating. Uh, I got mine uh, way back a few months ago. So it's, so it's, it's been appreciating, uh, although it's, it stayed stable for quite a bit. But now that the the um, smart notes are out, you know, uh, the people are going to start getting more Neox and hopefully this start appreciating. So this is now a good time to get in. Um, for the for the in terms of, of markets, I got mine at TX bit. So you can check TX bit here and get yours, uh, uh, your 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 tokens there. All right, so one million Neox for each uh, node. Then in terms of BPS, I I already had my my BPS for other projects like Presearch and, and Flux and other projects. I got I use Contabo, uh, and you can get a BPS for five ninety nine here. Let's see minimum requirements. All right, this is four cores, eight gigs, and, and two hundred gigabytes on SSD. So that's more enough for for the requirements for um, for this Neoxa uh, smart node. You need two cores, four gigabytes of RAM, and 80 gigabytes of storage. So these are more than enough, okay? And I think in, if you select 12 months here, you get you get a free setup, one time setup free. So that's good. All right, there's another one like Vulture and, and so others. Uh, that's what I've been using uh, Contabo. So that's up to you to decide, but that's the minimum. Two cores, four gigabytes of RAM, and 80 gigabytes of storage. All right, there's no limit in, in, the, in the number of masters, no, I'm sorry, smart nodes that you can own. So you can own as many as you want. All right, let's move on into the wallet now. Okay, you need to go to neoxa.net and go to download your wallet. You may have already previously downloaded a, a wallet, uh, but you need to download the latest and upgrade. It's a mandatory upgrade. Otherwise, the smart node is not gonna work. So um, we're gonna have to resync the whole blockchain or use a bootstrap file to speed it up. Uh, but you do need to download the latest and greatest. So go ahead and uh, download this version. This is the latest of today, V5.1.1.4 smart note payout. So, and you need to look for, this is the Windows. This is the one I have, Neoxa, uh, QT-5114, Win64, zip. So go ahead and download this file 
Let's click there. I already downloaded and installed it, but let's, let's, let's go through that. So go ahead and do that. Okay, extract the file. And then you need to, maybe you need to authorize to run anyway, because you know, the windows may block it. So you just do run anyway. And then you get to this screen and this screen, um, you can choose the default data di uh, directory, or you can use your own custom here and choose. So uh, if you choose the default, it's just gonna do the app data roaming Neoxa core. So you're gonna install uh, the wallet on this new folder called Neoxa core. So go ahead and, and click okay and install it. Okay, and on the next screen, this is where you import your recovery phase here. So if you previously have the Neoxa network, you're gonna have to recover your, your wallet by entering the 12 words here on this big white box. You're gonna put one word after each other separated by the space, all the 12 uh, words here. And then the recovery pass phrase, it should be entered here as well. All right, so if you have, if you have a one, if you don't have it, just don't 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 enter the the passphrase here. But if you do have it, you you need to have both fields completed. You need to have the 12 words here and the passphrase here, and then you you hit import. If you don't had a wallet before, you just go ahead and do generate. So then then you're gonna be able to to recover your wallet by importing or creating a new wallet by generating. All right, let's keep going. All right, unfortunately, you gotta wait until the full. Uh, Blockchain is synced, so you're gonna wait until this is 100%. And it's gonna, I'm still trying to connect to peers, and then the more peers it has, it's gonna speed up. It took me a few hours for me. It depends on the connection and some other factors, but you know, you, unfortunately, you need to wait until this is 100%. And and then after all is synced up and 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 100%, you do want to encrypt the wallet, so you're gonna do settings, encrypt, and you're gonna provide a new passphrase. And, and repeat here the new passphrase and your wallet will be encrypted. So you have to do this, these steps, okay? Before we can move to the next. So go ahead and start doing that. All right, and after the wallet is fully synced up with the blockchain, we're ready to start with the fun part, right? Um, if you need to speed up the, the synchronization, you can, you can download a bootstrap file and, and, and the whole blockchain will be in the file and just a few hours will be needed for you to sync up. Uh, let me know if, if you need help with that. Anyway, we'll, what the team has done is, let's move on to the funds part. Let's start building our, our smart node. Uh, if you go to neoxa.net, you'll see here the follow the smart node guide. So the team has put this together, so we can click there. And then we're gonna execute step by step and have our node, node, uh, smart node set up. Okay, in order to, to go ahead and do all these steps, I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm gonna look for party. Party, there it is, and if you don't have party, Go ahead and download Putty. Uh, this is the, 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 the software that we use to connect to our ho our host, our VPS. So you need to type your IP address there, port 22, and hit open there. So you're gonna put your IP address there, click open. All right, and, and your, pro your VPS should have provided you with your, your login uh, username and password, okay? In my case, it's root. You may have admin or root, but... Uh, Go ahead and check that on the email that uh, they send you once you sign up. All right, so I'm in there and I'm ready to set up the, the, the steps here. Go ahead and do that. All right. All right, step number one, switch to root user. We already did sudo su, so let's do that. sudo su, enter. All right, we're already root, but anyway, if you, don't, you are not root, just do that. Then step two, we need to run the update. So go ahead and copy the whole command there. Right click into the window, right click. That's, that's how it gets pasted and then enter. All right, and then starts updating the entire uh, server. So it's gonna start updating. All right, perfect server is updated now let's move to step number two add a swap file see if there is already a swap file so we're gonna copy that that command swap on uh, dash dash show let's see all right I already have a a swap file there of 8.5 gigabytes so see it's showing up so if you don't if it doesn't show up you're gonna have you're gonna go ahead and copy all this and create a swap file I don't need to do that so I'm gonna skip step number two just so verify by doing that command first. All right, let's do number three. 
secure server enable UFW open port. So I'm gonna do this step by step. So I'll show you. Copy control, right click, enter. All right, that's done. Step number two, let's copy this. Control C, right click, enter. All right, it's number four, three. Control C, right click, enter. All right, number four, control C, right click, enter. Rules updated, control C, the port, right click, updated, and then sudo UFW enable, control C, right click, enter. Uh, command may disrupt existing SA connections, proceed with operation, yes, enter. I was active and enabled on system startup. Perfect. Okay, step number four. Open the fail to ban configuration. So we're gonna use this nano command here. We're gonna edit the file, copy the whole here. See this copy uh, icon there, just copy there. Right click, enter. All right, we're inside that jail local, that local file. We're gonna copy the entire thing, this, this, these lines here, these parameters. So we're gonna copy there, right click it, right, that's it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit this file. So control X, all right, say modify buffer, and we're gonna hit yes, Y, and then enter. All right, all safe. Now with this settings, fail to ban will be active for SSH, multi specific log file for failed login attempts. And after three unsuccessful attempts from the same IP address, it will take appropriate action to block that IP. Next, you will need to reboot your server. So. Let's go ahead and reboot, just type reboot, reboot, enter, and we're gonna lose connection here for a second, and we're gonna have to re-enter with Paddy on the same server. All right, and after you reboot your VPS, log back in as root, and then you're ready to execute step number five. We need to create a system user. So we're gonna copy this command, and then we're gonna replace where it says new user uh, name. We're gonna replace it with whatever name you want for your for your smart notes um, system user. So copy, right click, and replace from new underscore username. So just type whatever username you want. All right, enter. All right, and you're gonna provide a, pa a password for that username, and then re-enter the password. All right, you don't need to do this. These are values for you. All right, is information correct? Yes. All right, and then you have that user uh, ID created. Now, download and zip the latest Neoxa daemon. This is important. So let's go ahead and create that, that Neoxa folder here. Uh, copy, right click, MKD Neoxa. So we create a folder, CD Neoxa. So CD Neoxa, we are inside the Neoxa folder. And now this is where we wanna use the wget HTTPS and the location of the latest release. Now, see, since um, last night they upgraded this, they updated this. This is not the latest anymore, 1.4. We need to download the latest. So we gotta go to, to, the, to the latest uh, GitHub and get that one. All right, and here is the latest on GitHub here, Neoxa chain uh, slash Neoxa and version 5114 smart node payouts, the latest. Always checks for the latest. I'm gonna find the Neoxa uh, AD4 Linux, so that's the one, Neoxa 511 Linux 64. All right, so I'm gonna download that, and to do that, you just right, gonna right click there, copy link address, I'm gonna copy there, and I'm gonna go back to my VPS, and say wget space, right click, and that's the latest, okay? So enter, there is downloading the latest. Okay, now we need to unzip the latest. So we're gonna say unzip space, and then I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna delete from here. From here, I'm gonna move here, see? So I get the name right, so I'm gonna delete all this. And that's the latest file that we just download. It's just that it's in zip, so I'm gonna say unzip, and that's the latest, 5114 dash Linux 64, zip, enter. All right, inflating, done. So those are the two main files that you wanna have, Neoxa 
um, dash clean and then neoxat. All right. All right, moving on, step number six, uh, set up wallet locally, uh, download the latest Neoxa wallet. We already done this, so we're good. Begin by opening the wallet and allowing it to complete the syncing process. Hopefully you have done by now. Next, secure wallet by encrypting it through the settings menu and select encrypt wallet. I already told you to do that. If you haven't done so, just go ahead and do the encryption and enter the passphrase and confirm it. Generate a new receiving address within the wallet. So that we need to do. We need to uh, create a new receiving address and then we're gonna send the, the Neoxa there. So go ahead and open your wallet and then go to file, receiving addresses, and then create new. Type a label, I wanna say no two for me, and then okay. And I have my, my second no there, all right? So go ahead and create that receiving address. Okay, so we create the receiving address. Now let's go, let's keep going. It's crucial to create a backup of your wallet, that, that file. To do this, navigate to file and choose backup wallet. Make sure you store this backup in multiple secure locations. So you need to save a multiple backups of your wallet. So go ahead and open the wallet and do file and then backup wallet. I already done this. I have in multiple places backup the file all right, multiple places for the, the requirement. All right, let's keep going. Send 1 million Neoxa to self. This is the current collector amount for Neox Warner. Remember, you don't lose this, this uh, amount of Neox. They just, they just stay there um, to secure the network, but you can withdraw them anytime. So you just, you just stake them to the, to, the, uh, to the node, right? So we're gonna send it exactly 1 million to the, to the receiving address that we just created. And then we're gonna wait for one confirmation to complete the transaction. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do send here. And then here you're gonna type that receiving address that we just created. And then we're gonna type here 1 million, three, one, two, three. And then uh, I'm gonna leave this unchecked, subtract the fee from I'm gonna leave that unchecked. And then I'm gonna click send and I'm gonna wait for the confirmation. All right, this operation is your wallet passphrase to unlock the wallet. Go ahead and type your passphrase. Are you sure you want to send 1 million to the node that you just set up? I'm gonna say yes. All right, and there they are on their way. So, and then you're gonna go to transactions and see that they are being confirmed. And you're gonna see the, the amount being paid to yourself, payment to yourself here. All right. Okay, let's keep going. Just the last two steps and we're done. All right, number seven, build pro TX command within your wallet. Below is an example of what the pro TX quick setup command should look like. You can copy the example below in a notepad and edit it with your values. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna copy this whole uh, command here and open notepad here, notepad, notepad, perfect. Right click, paste. That's the, that's the example they gave us. So let's, let's keep going here. All right, transaction ID. In your wallet, go to transactions. Right click on the one you sent to yourself earlier and copy transaction ID. Really. So I'm gonna go here and say transactions. That's the one, the, the payment that I did to myself, the one million. So I'm gonna do right click and let's see here, where is it? Show transactions detail or copy transaction ID. There it is, copy transaction ID. Go back here and then we can replace this first double quotes there. I'm gonna delete, control V, and there it is. I just replaced the whole thing, all right? All right, for collateral index, go to tools, debug console, type smart node outputs to check for one or zero. All right, let's do that. Go to tools here. Here, debug console, type, let's, let's, let's check here again. Type smart node outputs, all right, so let's see that where it is, here. Let's, that's gonna, I'm gonna put it here so you can see it. All right, smart, you're gonna just type that, smart node, there it is. Smart node outputs, smart node outputs. Enter, all right, and there you are. Uh, my late, I already have one. So my second one is, see, 
is that one at the top is still a one. So I'm gonna copy that. So I'm gonna go to the notepad here. Instead of a zero, I'm gonna replace that for a one. All right. Then your smart note server IP and port replace the example in the IP. All right, so the next line here, that's just the IP. And then colon the port, just leave that same port. So we're gonna replace for our BPS, all right? That's the IP address of the BPS. So I'm gonna replace that there. All right, it's been replaced. Let's keep going here. All right. Fee address. All right, this should be in, in be any address in your wallet that contains enough enough neox to pay the fee. Cannot be the address to which you send the one million neox. So we need to pick up another another address where we gonna pay the fee from. Okay, it has to have at least 0 0.005 neox. That's enough. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, and and do that. Let's. You need to find your addresses here. You're gonna go to your wallet and then you're gonna see what address is. Now, another way of doing it, you just do, uh, here you copy list addresses balances, copy that, go to the, to your wallet here, and, and in the same console that we were, you just type it there, that command, list addresses balances, and then, and then you're gonna pick any of these where you have a positive balance, you have a balance there, you just copy that address, any, any of those will do, just copy the address, and then you're gonna paste it here, replace it there, all right? So that's the address where we're gonna get the fee from. All right, and then this command is done. You can save it if you want, but I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, Control C. Okay, and then we're gonna execute it in the, in the um, debug console, okay? We're gonna go to the debug console again. Where are you here? All right, right click, paste the whole thing, and enter. All right, please enter the wallet passphrase uh, with what with the wallet passphrase first. All right, so we gotta decrypt there. So go back to your wallet. All right, I'm gonna do zip settings and lock wallet. Type my passphrase there. All right, it's been unlocked. I run, I'm gonna re-execute this. Paste the whole command from the notepad, okay? Execute. All right, perfect. That's what we wanted. Okay, and, and the result of executing that last command, um, you can see here a series of, of uh, uh, strings here, owner address, voting addresses. Uh, but here you see neox.conf, uh, that's the configuration file. Go ahead and copy that uh, string there. I'm gonna copy that string. All right, control C, and they go to your file explorer, put it there and paste it there. It's gonna take you directly to that to that uh, file that we just created, which is a configuration conf file. You you need to save this, save, we're gonna just open, uh, use it. All right, let's go to the last step, number eight. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, now we need to move to our configuration over to our server. So that file that we just opened, we're gonna put it in our server, all right? So I'm gonna go back to Paddy, to my, my window here, where I have a connection to the VPS. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna execute, uh, I'm gonna do from here, that slash Neoxa CLI. So I'm gonna stop the Neoxa there, stop. Permission denied, so we need to change the, 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 the permissions on this file. Okay, I'm gonna type ch, ch mod u plus x space, and then we're gonna say neox uh, dash t. All right, and then I'm gonna say the same ch mod u plus x um, neox at neox at those two files. All right, I just gave them execution. Okay, and we're gonna copy this command and we're gonna edit the configuration file, right click, I know there it is. Now, now back to the notepad, copy the whole content on the configuration file that we have in the notepad, and then paste it right there. All right, control X, save, yes, and now enter. All right, we got that. Now, start your daemon, so let's copy this, 
copy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this. No, just for the dot, dot slash neoxad. All right, neoxad code server starting, perfect. And now let's check if it's running successfully. So we're gonna copy this command. I'm gonna copy from the dot there, there. Right click, status. Okay, waiting for ProTX, excellent. This is what we, you wanna have, waiting for ProTX to appear on chain. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna take, you know, a couple of hours until the whole node is synced up with the blockchain, okay? My first node, it took like at least six hours. So hang in there, but this is what you wanna have. You wanna have the waiting for ProTX. Once, once it's done, it's gonna say ready, status equal ready. And once the status is ready, you're done, all right? All right, and this is it. This is, if you got to this step, you're done. Congratulations, you have your, your Neoxa smart node created. And now we just need to wait for this to get to see you ready. Now, in the meantime, let's check how much Neox I'm making each of these smart nodes I'm making. So I created one, my first uh, node yesterday, and I got paid 728. I got paid 2,250 Neox. And I got, again, pay uh, after 15 hours, I can see. Again, 2,250. So I got a total of 405, so 4,500. So 4,500 with one node per day, right? So let's say 30 days, that's 135,000 to the current uh, number of nodes, right? Because this is, has to be distributed based on the number of nodes in the network. So this is gonna change. So today I got, I'm gonna get pay uh, on average 135,000 per month. Uh, and we just said that uh, the price of Neox is, uh, let's say, it's, you know, 11 probably. It's gonna keep going. Uh, that's 148.5 dollars per month. All right, and one more tip: if you don't see your smart notes there, that's that's all the smart notes. Um, if you don't see that tab there, you just go to settings. Uh, let's see options, wallet, and just click here. Uh, check show smart notes tab all right by default it's disabled so i did that all right and that tab is going to show up smart notes and these are all the smart notes now once you find your smart note by clicking there those are my two you're going to see when your next payment is in what block number is your next payment so what you want to do is check the block number there and then go to the explorer neoxa explorer this is explorer.neoxa.net and seeing which block uh, the network is currently processing, okay? So that's it's gonna give you an idea when your next payment is gonna be uh, in, your, in, in your wallet. All right, this is it. I hope you were uh, able to create this uh, smart node. There are currently 901 smart nodes here. So I can see the total count there and keeps increasing. Uh, I hope you find this video useful. And if you run into any trouble, let me know. I'll try to help you out. If not, you know, consider liking this video. That helps a lot. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.